puppy pads versus fake grass for indoor potty training. Which one is best for you and your dog? Do you like the artificial grass like this one that fits into a tray or the real grass like doggy lawn or fresh patch? Or do you like the potty pads? We're gonna talk about all of them and give you the pros and cons of each of the indoor potty training choices. So you've decided you're going to potty train your dog indoors. There are many advantages to it. One, of course, is if you have a new puppy and they haven't had their vaccinations, they don't have to go out in public. Second one is if you're delayed and can't get home, your dog or your puppy is not stressed because they can't go to the bathroom. Third one is if you live in a high rise or an apartment building, you know you have to scoop the puppy up, run to the elevator, wait for the elevator, and then if there are people in the elevator, maybe you don't even get on. All this while your puppy is struggling in your arms. If you are fortunate to have a yard and you think, well, I'll just take my dog outside, it's really so convenient to not have to go out in the rain. You don't have to put on the boots and the umbrella and take your dog out. And for mine, they're just gonna stand out there and stand on three legs and lift that fourth one and say, I'm not gonna pee out here, it's too wet. And of course, the same thing when it snows. You don't have to worry about shoveling the snow and shoveling a path. And also, if you have an elderly dog, great way to help an elderly dog is to create an indoor potty area. So there are some of the reasons why I use an indoor potty area for my dogs. So how do you keep a puppy from peeing everywhere in your house, in your apartment? Now we're going to talk about the different choices. First one we reviewed was the spotty indoor dog potty. And this has a tray and on the tray you put a disposable potty pad. You put the grate down on top and then you put down the synthetic mat. This is very porous. I had this set up when I had the dogs at my office and I thought, oh, this will work pretty well. I won't have anything, the, the pads on the floor. But what happened was you had to pick up the synthetic mat and the grate and I had to keep a, a waste paper basket very close by with a lid because then I would put the soil uh, disposable puppy pads in the waste paper basket. But then I was faced with the synthetic mat that had been peed on. So I needed to wash it. So I had to find a utility sink or something that I could wash it in. Even washing it very well and letting it dry because you almost needed two because you washed one and it was heavy. And over time, these synthetic mats need to be replaced because they do get stinky. So that was the first one, the spotty indoor potty. The second one that I reviewed was the porch potty. It looks nice. It has its own little frame. The grass sits in the frame. They encourage you to use a drainage system. So they have a basin that fits underneath. When your dog urinates on the grass, you are supposed to daily wash the grass and let the water run into the drainage basin. Take the drainage basin out, dump it in the toilet. So their other alternative is to attach a hose to let it drain into your garden off the deck or something. I wasn't so sure about that one. It looks nice, but to me it was a lot of work. Some people use kitty litter to help so that there's not as much of a urine running in. All of the synthetic mats need to be replaced quite frequently. Even if you wash them down, they still tend to have an odor. So the pros of porch potty, looks nice, 
would look nice on your deck or on your balcony. If you are okay with watering the grass and pulling out the little drainage basin and dumping it, I think it said about 12 gallons of water needed to fully rinse the grass. That's a little bit of work each day and it is expensive. Between everything for the entire setup, it's maybe $250. So that was a lot. And then the grass needs to be replaced on a regular basis. So the next one that we reviewed was the real grass. And that was Doggy Lawn and Fresh Patch. They are both real grass. They have no dirt, no soil. And Fresh Patch comes in its box. You can see in the picture, it has a box. It's like a, a waxed on the inside to keep it from uh, the water from draining and it can actually stay in the box You can open the box and fold it flat and that's the way your dog can use it very simple You have to replace the grass on a regular basis every couple weeks every three weeks four weeks depending on how often your dog uses the fresh patch The other one is doggy lawn now. I made the mistake with doggy lawn. I ordered a uh, tray that was much too big, a piece of grass that was way too big, but I was doing it for two dogs, so I wanted to make sure I had an, a large enough piece. Now one of my dogs immediately peed and pooped on the doggy lawn grass. The other one never touched it. I had it for three weeks. She never went near it. So just the difference in the dog. So your dog might love it from the very beginning. My problem with the doggy lawn was the piece I had of course, I could pick up the poop off of it very easily. I didn't have to rinse it because it was real grass. And I thought, oh, this is good. But then it started to get all stinky because it had been two and a half weeks. And so I was going to order another one. And I thought, oh my goodness, I can't even lift this. It was so heavy. So for me, at the time, I had shoulder surgery. I only had one good arm. So for me, it didn't work. So I have synthetic grass that I really wasn't pleased with. I have the real grass that had drawbacks. Now, I never had any bugs in mine, but some people had said that they found a lot of bugs in the real grass, but I can't say that. So what do I do? I went back to what I've always used, which are the potty pads. And in this video, you'll see how I set up my corner for the potty pads. This is the area I've chosen for my potty area. I have a nice little corner. Eventually, my puppy will run over here and go potty on one potty pad or two. Uh, but right now, I'm gonna cover the whole area. I like to use a pad holder. Harder for the puppy to dig it up, to dig up the corners, easier to keep it down and keep it secure. So this is my potty pad holder. I like it because it opens and you put the potty pad in and you clip. And then of course you do the same thing on the other side and then I lay potty pads on top. Now I can just hear people out there saying, oh no, potty pads never. All they do is shred them. They lay on them, they play with them and it'll teach them to go everywhere in my house. Well, that's not what I find. I use the tray, the iris holder for the potty pads. The, the holder keeps the edges clamped down. If my puppy starts to dig at the pad, I just simply remove them. Same I would do if I had the grass, I'd remove them from the grass. And I remove them from the pad, redirect them, then bring them back. I only leave them in the potty area for 10 minutes. And if they start to play with the, the pads, just take them out. Attach them to you, keep them with you, and then take them back. This little clip shows Nikki. We're both upstairs. And Nikki comes downstairs, pees on the puppy pad, then goes upstairs and finds me and we come down and I give her a treat.
My dogs are 99% trained for puppy pads. The only time they aren't is they don't like to use a soiled pad. So if the pad is soiled on a rainy night, I better make sure there are enough clean pads down or they may go off the side of one, but that's rare. We can also do a video comparing the washable puppy pad, which is this one, to the disposable puppy pad. Would you like to see a video on a comparison of those? Please put it in the comments below. We can do a video comparing doggy lawn to fresh patch. Would that be interesting for you? What do you use for your puppy for indoor potty training? I hope you've enjoyed my comparison of puppy pads to fake grass and real grass. Please watch the video above on potty pad training, how to train a puppy to use potty pads. Thank you. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell. Bye from Joyce at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.